This origin starts you off as the Galactic Empire, giving you buffs and starting on an eco-monopolis. And today, we are my home country, Wales. We took over, turning our sheep into alloys, taking control of the world and turning it into a great eco-monopolis. And trust me, it was done diplomatically. The aim for this video is to try and unite the galaxy on Grand Admiral High Aggressiveness to fight the Three Times Crisis as early as possible. Now, we do start off with a lot of options planets and buffs we are whales with Bonetta di Bartolemi and we also get galactic sovereign to start which gives us six influence diplomatic weight available envoys a hand civic slot which is always very cool there are settings for this game but we're going to just play default I'm not going to mess with these the imperial security directorate we will aid local enforcements and spread our will and the founding of the legions. The first Imperial Legions are now being assembled in Wales. So we have some elite fighters, like always. And we have the Imperial Armada, as it should be. And the Scrappers are giving us gifts already. This is great. I'm going to let it play because I believe it fills out. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. So all the empires should fill this galaxy out nicely. I'm not sure what we start with, but it looks like we get a few of the base techs, which is pretty cool. This mod is essentially, you want to play mid to end game straight away. Go for it. Wales is here we have started with the imperial palace which just gives us so many jobs the grand embassy complex so more envoys we have seven uh admin complex advanced research complex and a commerce and megaplex we are going to turn this probably into a super alloy world do we start with rings oh we have rings we're going to make an orbital ring straight away because they are so strong with an ecomonopolis there is a lot to do our economy is weird we've got a few max resources but first we shall research experimental subspace navigation will help us get a hold on this galaxy and more that diplomatic weight because we are the senate we can actually add another civic too uh maybe technocracy for the science actually no meritocracy more alloy output uh we can't do that well when we have the unity we will probably put meritocracy on so we start with a few planets a lot continental oh wow we get a fully fledged mining world too bad uh we use <laughs> food alloys but it's fine whoa 53 miners are working with also exceptional quality minerals that is crazy too bad they have zero housing so let's fix that a bit and we get a fully fledged generator world which has hazardous weather that's pretty cool let's build a few more housing for them too and the frontier sector has nothing oh no we've got a food world too with lush which Fun fact, lush is used a lot here in Wales to describe something good. So I guess this world is literally lush. We're going to assign our agarian upbringing to that food sector too. And then hopefully we get, damn it, not a good one. We'll just get reduced crime. On our capital, I said we're going to turn this into alloys and probably science. We don't have too many people living here, which is strange. And also we are the market leader, of course. I'm going to merge up our ships. We've got a few cruisers and destroyers. And we don't actually have research battleships. So that's something we're going to want. And we do have our legions. And to do our dirty work i think we're gonna get some robots going on every planet and we've got some shipyards already built up that's pretty cool i'll leave it to play a bit more as well there's contact yeah well i think we've already made contact to be honest so currently nothing is being oh there's no council we are literally the senate i am and if you're enjoying this video, let me know if you want to see more from this mod. There are more origins, such as starting as a galactic custodian, starting as a crisis, and starting as an important ally to the emperor, or as vassals, such as the clone guard, monopolies, or machines. Or we can start as a rebel to overthrow the galactic community. Leave a comment what you want to see, but let's see what we can pass. GDF fleet and more capacity? I think so. Let's that forward and we'll just emergency measure it get it on the floor now why not hopefully everyone agrees the first tradition so they haven't filled that out for us i think we're gonna go prosperity since we're doing a lot of resources more specialist output is always amazing alongside the magnificent text that we have already got we can actually already terraform so that's what we're gonna do straight away about terraforming these worlds in our borders we must expand to keep the galaxy safe they trust us and we cannot let them down and we'll come survey some worlds that are over here now we can put terraform gases on to speed that up the galactic council is finally up for some reason we're there twice uh they do not like this maybe i shouldn't have put it through when nobody likes me yet we will strengthen our authority though with the remaining envoys i'm just gonna make sure that stuff's building all the time we've got a buff that actually lets us build quicker let's actually look at them national development plan so we can build stuff very quick get more pop growth speed mechanical pop assembly too so that's why robots are gonna be pretty good they're gonna build very quick which is always nice but there's a lot to keep up with 
this ascension perk, I think we'll still go tech ascendancy. We need, we want to still like tech stuff. I think we'll go hard on the, uh, the food on this planet. I don't really want to make more than one food world, but we're going to need a lot of food to make alloys. The cows need to be plentiful. And when we get the ring built, oh, we're going to get so much food. A second tradition. Yes, maybe diplomacy. I don't know. Yes, we are the Senate. We rule with diplomacy. Neutron twos. Very nice. Now we just need battleships, please. Hmm, a commercial pact. I mean, we are very good with influence. And these are our second in command on the council with us. Sure, we'll accept. Oh gosh, there's so much stuff happening. Trouble in paradise. Suppress the opposition. We don't want pacifism. A second ascension perk. Do we go engineered evolution of the flesh is weak? I haven't gotten flesh is weak in a while. Let's go that. Not that we'll do it yet because our science is not up to speed. Our food world just got memed with a rowdy bunch. Great. <laughs> we are too weak to survive on our own. It in this hostile galaxy. Will the whales protect us if we become your subject? Eh, you know what? Where are they? They're in a council. They want to be, you know, we would just have to oblige. We'll protect them. Oh, look how close this one is. Come on. Oh, I failed. Next, I think we'll go mercantile because we have a lot of clerk jobs. Um, our trade value is pretty high. Just base. And then we'll go supremacy, I think. They're voting on variety shield. Yeah, we'll accept that. More naval cat. And diplomatic weight from fleets is always nice. Yeah, orbital rings finally upgraded, which means we can get the building, which means we can get alloy processing facility, which is going to buff our alloy production a lot. Yeah, we're going to switch our trade policy to consumer benefits because our consumer goods are just shocking. It shouldn't tank our energy too much, no. We don't have loads of trade yet, but as our planets get filled up, clerks will start being worked. Imperial state under attack. Ooh, they... An unidentified empire seems to me that it's going to be a fallen empire or pirates. And we do not have capacity to fight that, so we're going to leave it. I'm sorry. Let's build a spy network. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we found some xenophobe fallen empire. Yeah, it was the Fallen Empire. That is why we've uh, avoided that. We cannot fight that yet. Oh, a paranoid spark of genius. Ah, I kind of want to get rid of him. Get rid of him. Oh, they pieced out already. They just got humiliated. See, it is fine. Yeah, okay, orbital ring here is finished. We can make our energy credits better. And grab, I think, rehabilitation model modules. Increases the districts. We can get more energy districts there. And I think we'll do capacity subsidies so that we actually have some energy income. Then we can buy the rest if needed. This orbital ring rings done now we can get more food Every all the resources will be fixed don't you worry just need the rings up and running whales too we have oh we've terraformed everything that is great now we can send the colony ships when we have enough consumer goods and alloys things are looking up for the great welsh nation oh we've got pirates oh we're getting claimed gudge commonwealth how dare they they are superior to me interesting here's our imperial cruiser that we're gonna roll with until we get destroyers we're gonna duplicate i'm gonna duplicate that here on our normal ships allied Ganvius planet state who are down here are at war with autocracy of Halo. I don't really want to fight. Why are they all just murdering each other? Are they not in community? Ganvius planet states. If they're not, they're not. We can't let them do this. We must join the war. It's far away though. I don't think we can actually get there. Yeah, we can't get there. We'd have to go through the pirates, which is a no-go. Well, we can watch on as they send free key in. Oh, you idiot. And now our mineral planet can get low gravity mega refineries and our planets are looking strong wrong now and our resources not looking good for our allies i'm hoping this wormhole oh we got the wormhole there let's see where this wormhole goes is it helpful who knows oh my gosh it's actually helpful <laughs> well let's go help you couldn't write it better in the script i mean there's no script don't be silly tell you what we do need armies imperial legion time we do actually have an army too which is great we're just gonna go in and wreck them from behind the senate leaves no one behind that's the truth i'm gonna go shared destiny so that i can get more subjects i think you can also I never built anything here. What do I need? Fine. And we can actually change our agreement a bit. Give me all of your basic income. Actually, I kind of want tech from them. Uh, it's not loads. Let's grab 45%. We'll grab unified sensors. They can expand. And yeah, that'll be good. And two holdings. And we can actually build a hyper relay work network now. I just need more alloys. Can they hold for long enough? I don't know. They don't have armies. Or at least they did and they got picked off. That's great. For some reason, my my imperial fleet is counting towards my naval cap is that does that usually happen i swear it doesn't happen i wonder can we declare these the crisis and everyone comes and kills them a weak support though not strong enough yet to pass that okay we're in let's just 
rush there. That's the capital, isn't it? Maybe not. The first planet is being taken. Good. I can't actually see because it's a nebula. They need to hold. Please, I'm trying to save you. Please just hold. I don't think they're going to hold, guys. No. Supremacy time. Good, good. We take more. Oh, we won. Very nice. Time to go back home, boys. And girls. We have won the first Imperial War. And it wasn't against the Fallen Empire. We were not going to win that whatsoever. Whoa, this Commonwealth has just killed the pirate teams. Interesting. Another Imperial member state is under attack. Gudge, what Commonwealth has attacked the Kassem? No, 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 you can't do that. Those who are loyal to the Imperium will be protected. This means war. Of course, they go for us straight away. We're going to wait for our ships to upgrade. We have 40k. They have a bit more than that, to be honest. But we do have edicts to whack on. And now we have like 58k. Oh, we have battle ships now for our armada don't really know how this works I, I swear this naval cap shouldn't be counted in mind but it is oh well we have some battleships that we can build even though we don't have the tech we take those and sapient combat because <laughs> okay that'll suit us did they already peace out what okay they are very scared of us we are getting strong one battle is all it took we're gonna store our vassal even more 45 percent research yes please another imperial state under attack the are at war with the subdifferian a stupid hive mind i don't know if we can actually get to them though no uh, we can through the wormhole if they still got open borders with us yeah we fight we don't let anyone behind unless it's against you know the uh fallen empire <laughs> we can't fight that we'll take over three years wait no not even that so long to get there oh yanari why oh no they're pathing through here okay, we managed to get out that was so close i like the idea of an imperial crusade force someone in means we probably can't go help the yanari though ah it's actually not gonna get past so yeah we'll go okay maybe it will get past especially if i freeze oh, i have no influence yeah we'll go help them first then the yanari not looking too good i don't know if they've actually gotten in though but now cybernetic close to just turning our food purely into alloys don't eat the sheep only turn them into alloys yeah we are now finally here to clean up let's grab mode of this fleet don't you dare run oh my gosh i hate it when they do that and i think we'll go galactic force or defender everyone will like us we'll do that next we'll do galactic force project projection for now we can get bigger fleets battleships nice now our consumer goods are kind of fixed we're gonna go academic privilege probably yeah it's gonna go negative a bit but we can fund that now yeah we're taking them out oh no more people under attack oh hierarchy yeah no that's the fallen empire so we're not going we're not gonna do that i think it's glitched a bit they're on the border with them oh another one under attack conclave of zem oh uh, we can't attack we can't help because my ships are there i do want to help though they're gonna be strong otherwise and i think we might be able to build a fleet up quick oh they're gonna be so strong though let's help if worst thing comes to first one fleet can go back we have a 30k oh, this does not look good no access what oh we're actually trapped uh i can return no it's sending me back here here this is not good okay we're killing their fleet hopefully we have to peace out and then we can return home but honestly who knows oh we won that war return yes we can go mission in action we can go missing in action back to our fleets we lost a few ships i think but that means they're gonna show up here and we should be able to rescue this are the imperial crusades gone from here because they declared war bit annoying they're bringing more in 28k and a 16k oh, our fleets will be here soon oh, they've actually landed in some of these come on fleet they're taking my planets how long does it take for them to return they're coming for 21k here now at least at 12k imperial admada oh no it's fighting that's not good hey that's a 15k now we can actually probably kill it once this is upgraded go kill them i just realized my army's not even here so we're gonna need to build up an army to retake stuff our fleet is here heal them up and then we can move in imperial fleet's also back great now luckily my allies are actually starting to take them out too while we regain our land oh we finally got all our stuff back i'm gonna literally murder these people now i hope we don't get pieced out automatically in we go we're separating them out oh they've actually stacked up And then we got them from the top. That's what we call a pro gamer move. I'm going to take some land as punishment. Mega structure restoration. Yes, please. I'd like some mega structures. There we go. Peace out. And we got some more land. Just a bit of planets. 
just a few. Oh, these need fixing. Okay, I'm thinking that <laughs> we're gonna need to fix up economy a little bit. Should be fine though. Okay, now I kind of want to do that Imperial Crusade. That'd be cool. Time to emergency measure the Crusade. Gonna start assimilating uh, these pops that we got. It is fine. I think it's now time for Defender of the Galaxy just to prepare for that end game. I'm not sure if I'll finish another Ascension pick in time. And speaking of Hierarchy of Kelzaka under attack by the Fallen Empire. They just keep getting humiliated. We're not going to help. We can't kill a Fallen Empire. Please, game, stop. I think it's time to add to the collection of vassals. Let's go kill the Conclave of them. Oh, we just managed to only pick off one. That's, I mean, we're still going to annihilate them, I think. Oh, we got a science nexus that we can build. And we can pick them off easily. I think my Imperial Fleet's bugged. It's not getting my edicts. Or at least it's much slower than what mine are. Or my ships are. We are conquering all their planets. The Sondra entity is attacking the Nari again. Oh, right. We'll help if we have time. I'm busy at the moment. In we go. Oh, they instantly die. Another vassal added to the collection. We'll go help. Since we're already actually here, we can go help them. Okay, never mind. The uh, Imperial Crusade just happened. So we're going to go back. Everyone is at war with <laughs> these guys. They're getting attacked from all sides. And we should be able to get back in time defend we won't lose too much okay, in we go they took our colony but we jump on them and our allies are here excellent mega shipyard that's what we've been waiting for oh damn they have a 39k here well we have 100 so that's fine goodbye we're going to switch our trade policy to marketplace of idea as well we want a lot of unity for these mega structures hopefully we get the cool edict stuff too i switched off capacity subsidies it didn't actually matter too much i'm going down discovery so might help we'll just do network dominance now ability everywhere i mean if they have haven't pieced out yet. We've taken pretty much everything. Ah, there's planets down here. There we go. We finally forced them to join the council. Oh, that was something. Planets Nexus is done, but I'm going to build a mega shipyard first. Way more important, I think. We have the alloys. We can just cut output so much. Okay, let's put Pax Galactica. Members of the Imperium, including its ruler, may not declare war on each other aside from trials of adm advancement. No more murder between each other. Oh, Titans. Really? Yes. It looks like we can can force a tributary before uh, the sitting Pax Galactica will go through. But that's what we're going to do. And the Inari, oh, they're fine. Not really. I can't be bothered to help them. Hopefully the crisis just spawns down there. Oh, wow, they got big fleet. 45k, 40k, 30k. Ooh, a challenge. No problem. Titans are done. And we add them by an assembly yard. Did they just go round? Oh, we're going to send one fleet back. Oh, they're jumping in. Let's pull back a little bit then. There we go. No problem. Oh, that's a big fight. 73k versus 23, but they jumped on me. Doesn't matter though. We have sheer numbers at the minute. They got a juggernaut. Oh, this stupid fallen empire. No, just kill them already. I'm just picking off 20k's like nobody's business. Make a ship yard time. Oh, that's a 50k. It's also dead. I can build Titans now. Good, good Titans. Yeah, I've made an Armada cast. Yeah, I've made a Titan with every buff for the Armada. We got disengagement, fire rate for us, fire rate less for them, regen for us, shields, fracking. We're going to have a big Imperial Armada. Pax Galactica has passed. Peace is enforced. That's annoying. Didn't know that was going to happen. Well, back home, I guess. I think we should uh, start getting a community space up light speed. Oh, and there's giants away. Oh, they just got a machine uprising. I guess we'll help them since we're literally quite near. They are dead. Okay, great. Now, look, can we just go home? I just want to go home, you know? I don't want to be here anymore. The Colossus project is on its way <laughs> for reasons. The first frame of the shipyard is done. Upgrade it before. Oh, no. Galactic power surge. That only can mean one thing. The unbidden. And I'm going to have to change up by cruisers. Oh, we don't have level two kinetic batch. And oh, my battleships will have to be changed of course okay here's our here's our battleship counter cruiser counter titan counter oh it's already being built i know i spelled shield wrong leave me alone we'll have to change the titans when they're built and these corvettes are actually going to be pretty strong against them and the annoying thing i have to go change all of these uh okay let's get upgrading all of these i said one mega ship you had to upgrade oh your imperial majesty the galaxy is in grave danger our forces are vested by the unbidden and once they are done with us they will surely un overrun the rest of the Imperium. It's our duty to defend. You are right. Here they are. Where did they spawn? Oh, down south in the uh, in the hive. <laughs> well, they were bullying the Inari Council. They deserve that. Okay, so their small ships are almost 300k each. So we need to really go together with the, the fleets. 
<laughs> people are just trying to be my subject. I don't really want a Vectorium. Well, what? Ah, we'll just do it. The memes. All right, let's see. We can definitely take their star bases, but they're quite strong. Oh, no. Uh, I accidentally jumped on them. I got I got greedy. And we win this. We do count at them. That was a huge misplay. Oh, whoa, they jumped on us. I didn't watch this, but that was the 200k. And we're actually murdering them. The Imperial play. I'm going to wait for these to spawn and we're going to re get them back up to scratch. <laughs> then them in as reinforcements. We lost the Titan. That's why we got the mega shipyard. Yeah, we got another big fight. Oh, come on. Where's the other fleet there? I hate how it lags behind. Yeah, we got them. Oh, they've come back in. Oh, no. We are taking heavy losses. Oh, no. Can we get out? Yeah, we can get out. That's a 300k. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think we're going to die here. The play is to try and get to their anchor and try and wipe that out that's what i'm gonna try and do oh never mind there's a 600 well 600k is never going to win so i am not confident <laughs> with this game um we lost most of our imperial armada apparently all of their fleets have just come to my capital so what we're gonna do is do one last build up and push i can't beat them i think it might be over this is why we have a mega shipyard look how much it's building there's a war in heaven oh my gosh this game. Oh. Why are they attacking us? Both fallen empires are attacking us. <laughs> I don't have uh, confidence anymore. That's for sure. Well, I guess we go and try and take out a fallen empire. I don't know. This is a game and a half. At war with both fallen empires. I also have no armies. I just realized. We are actually... Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So many losses. This is just one Awakened Empire. I don't think we can win this. I know that sounds negative, but we also have the Unbidden with 300k each. Two Awakened Empires. One up here. We're going to go and do a time lapse. I, I, I am losing too much. I can't keep breathing. Maybe I could win if I took forever, but I don't think that will be a good game. One last battle. We're extremely weak. There they go. Okay. It is time lapse time. Place your bets. Who wins? Okay, a check of what's actually happening. Wales is dead. Wait, no, Wales isn't dead. It's just pretty much dead. The Awakened Empire are both up on the Unbidden. It's just... Let's go from... Oh, the Aberrant spawned as well. Wait, what? Am I dumb? But what the heck are these? Are these new... What? I've never seen the Aberrant or the Vermin spawn as well. Yeah, as you can see, the Unbidden has 7.5 million. So I think it might be over. And it's just going to be a matter of time for the Unbidden. No, the capital. Dragon's breath is being bombed into a pulp. Oh, it just it just died. Goodbye, whales. I think this is over. We'll leave it for a bit and to see who wins, but it's not looking good. Well, it looks like the Unbidden has uh, won here. Uh, Wales is still alive somehow, but 7.6 million versus the rest of this. It's not going to happen, and it's just a matter of time, and this recording has gone on far too long. If you have enjoyed this video, then you'll enjoy the time. I played blind. Yes, that's right, blind. I couldn't see the galaxy map. It was only in system mode like this for the entire game.